Good afternoon. I come to you today, July 17th, 2019, from Elkins, West Virginia, with a heavy heart. I've been out of town for three and a half weeks, and I've come back to such a drastic There's change. There's been a huge billboard put up in our town that is... Um, asking to end the hunger problem, which tells me that there is an ever-growing problem in our area. I've also uh, ran across several people in the last few days. Two of them messaged me um, that they were starving to please, can I help them to bring them some food? Um, we usually keep those blessings boxes as full as we can. However, I've been told by so many people in the last month, there's no food. They go to the blessing boxes every day throughout the day, and there's no food for these people. We have homeless people walking on the streets, laying on the streets. Um, I, a lady was laying, sleeping next to our public library today when I went into the bank. Um, again, I had a lady message me yesterday and say she was sorry to bother me, which was definitely not a bother. Um, but that was her last resort, that she was actually getting delusional. She was so hungry. Um I don't know what's going on about why our blessing boxes aren't being filled, but I just want to urge the community of Randolph County, especially Elkins, because that's where these boxes are, to please get up and help us fight this problem. Please, you have something in your pantries, you have something in your homes um, that you can offer to these people. I cooked supper last night. And I always have extra, and I brought this woman a hot meal, okay? I'm not advertising to bring people on the streets hot meals, but I am asking that you please find some things in your pantry today. Go to the store and find it in your heart to spend five extra dollars and buy some things and put them in these blessing boxes. These people are human too, and this is becoming a humanitarian crisis for our community. And so I'm asking you, please share this video, um, help us get exposure that this is going on. People are living on the river. And I understand, you know, people say, well, this is happening in all communities. I understand that, but it's growing in our community, okay? In just the three weeks that I was gone, I'm seeing huge growth and even more hunger here. We have blessing boxes empty. We have billboards going up in our community asking people to help us feed. If every person that saw this video every person because I know that I'm going to upload it to YouTube and I know people are going to see it if every person that sees this video donates five dollars and you don't have to donate it to us go buy five dollars worth of food run to Kroger and the only thing is we can get a lot more food for the five dollars but go do that we're not asking for donations we are asking for our community to band together when you pull up at your bank and there's a brand new homeless lady laying there with bug bites all over her legs telling me she's starving because I have approached her. We talked, we had the most awesome conversation. Um, for a good 30 to 45 minutes, I sat there with her. I even gave her a hug goodbye. And you know what? This woman talked to me about the Lord. This woman plays the harp. This woman was intelligent. This woman didn't ask to be hungry. But Jesus tells us, Jesus tells us in Matthew and other parts of the Bible to feed the hungry. So don't turn your cheek to this and go if you can't find the blessing boxes, find us on Facebook, Pioneer Trails Ministry, and we have the location of all the blessing boxes. We are urging you to share this video and get the word out. We have people that are literally dying of hunger and we have to help them. Have a blessed day. If you find it in your heart today to go and fill a blessing box with anything that a person who is on the streets can take away and see as a blessing, please would you do that. There is one in front of Elkins City Hall. There is one right next to the Presbyterian Church by the Iron Horse, right by the city park. There is one at the Lutheran Church over by the Wick office downtown. There is one at um, Woodford uh, Methodist Church which is where Common Ground is every Saturday. That is right behind Gino's Pizza. And there is one out at Highland Terrace Methodist Church, which is out by North School. 
I pray that you find it in your heart to find one of those blessing boxes today and be a blessing to someone.